So it's a quick video showing you the uh, MCM, current hack printed circuit board we've been developing. And uh, it's very simple. This is it here. And it uh, has a dip switch here with four positions. And uh, the switches are either all off or all on. And that brings in two circuit, the resistors that the current hack needs. And uh, it's a nice little tiny printed circuit board, much better than the previous hardwired uh, solutions and cobbled on uh, bits and bobs. So to fit it, it's a doddle. You remove your MCM, MCM here, and you take the top off. Get the top off. There we are. So there we have the MCM printed circuit board. And to install it, it can only go in in one position, and it goes in position with the switch uppermost. And uh, if you try to fit it on these pins here in any other position than the correct one, it won't go on. But the correct one is just there, and it just fits on snug as a bug in a rug. So then it's just a question of soldering the um, six or seven pins there, and the current hack is installed. To operate it, you need a little tiny... Um, screwdriver or a pin or something just to move the switches into the on position if you decide you don't want the current hack for any reason you can just turn them back to the off position so this is the plus 30 percent originally named plus 30 percent current hack but as we now know the actual increase is more like plus 40 percent so it's a very significant uh, potential power increase and you need to uh, change the main fuse as well if you're going to use this one this is the first version of the board that we've done. Um, there is another one coming out very soon. Uh, I'm just going to use these as probably as spares in my own systems. But the, the new one coming out has the switchable um, levels, has the three levels. Uh, so it has the off and it has plus, I think I can't remember, it's plus 20, plus 40, and then insanity mode, um, which is like plus 60% or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, so that will be the new board. It will be exactly the same as this, but it will just have slightly few more resistors on. And I think it has two switches. I can't remember exactly, but I'll show you that when it arrives. So that's where we are with the current hack. You just solder it onto the board, and it can only go on in one position. It fits over the pins. They're already there. If I can get it back into the right place. And there we are. Just plops straight in there. And just solder the pins, and away you go. So that's a really easy current hack for the MCM. The BCM side of that is just one resistor uh, or two or three. It depends how you want to do it. If you're using the BCM replacer then obviously on the back of the BCM replacer board um, there will be um, uh, switches on the next version and it will have current hack switches and you'll be able to set the same switches as you do for the MCM so that they match so that the BCM and MCM are in uh, synchronized. Um, but for a manual conversion, if you don't have a BCM replacer, just to update a standard BCM, it's just a question of attaching one resistor between two points in the BCM for a fixed hack, um, which is relatively straightforward to do. So that's where we are with the current hack. A nice, simple little board that just makes that um, improvement much easier for people to carry out.